I'm such an idiot. If you watched last night, if you tuned in last week, uh, I had a mustache and I shaved it off on Monday for Halloween and then I shaved it all off. I should have done it with this thing that I'm gonna show you today. So I'm gonna show you a product that was sent to me by a, a Chinese company called Yinke. There it is, you might have seen it in some other ones. They sent out a few review units of people. And what this thing is, it's a connection. It's a, it's an addition. It's a trimmer for your Philips Norelco One Blade. Now, a long time ago, a year and a half ago, something like that, I made a video with one of these to see how it shaved, just like a normal razor. I didn't like it, so I sent it back. Yinke said, hey, we'd like you to review our little attachment for the One Blade. Uh, can we send it to you? I said, I don't have one of these. And they said, you know, we'll send you one. So they sent me these, so I'm gonna review it today. Uh, I'm going to trim a little bit on the old sideburns. Yeah. So this thing comes in a box. It's got 14 lengths. Hi, everybody. How you doing, by the way? <laughs> I feel like I just got started and started rolling. And here we are. So here's what comes in the little box. You get the trimmer. You get these two guards. And you get a little brush to clean it all out. And you can sweep up a very tiny home with. Isn't that nice? Those are things now, right? Tiny homes? Okay. So... What I did, I did a little bit of research. So these things, the Yinke, this is what it looks like. And it's got 14 settings. It goes from 04 to 10. It don't go to 11. I don't know why it don't go to 11, but that would be nice. So Yinke, make it go to 11, all right? So what you do is you take this sucker, and you know if you buy one of these, these are 30 bucks on Amazon. You can probably get them cheaper during holidays or something. And what I realized, and I didn't know this, there's now a One Blade Pro that comes with something that looks like this already in the box. But if you bought the one blade for 30 bucks, you don't want to shell out another $50, right? You can buy one of these suckers and turn your one blade into a one blade pro. And it's a little more uh, kind of sporty with the black and yellow. So this is $19, this is $30, so that's 49 bucks. A brand new one blade pro is 50 bucks. But if you already got this and you need this, there you go. Amazon, get this on Amazon. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put some hot water on my face, even though I don't necessarily need to for this thing. In fact, I'm not going to. <laughs> flying by the seat of my pants, folks. And I ain't even wearing pants, so you know we're flying by the seat of something. Okay, so here's what you do. See this little strap thing on here? It's plastic. You pop that sucker off like this, bing, opens right up. And then you take your little Phillips one blade and you put it in just like this. Oh no, just like this, there we go. <laughs> See that, so it goes in, so here we go, from the side, once again, boop. That way the blade is up here, the guard is doing what it's supposed to do, and uh, I told you I was an idiot when I started this off. It's your own fault for watching. Then you close it back, and there you go. There you got it, it looks good. The color of yellow almost matches, and here's how you use it if you want a really, really close shave. Now here's what you got to do. Here's the only thing I don't like about this product. You have to go up to trim. Normally I like to go down when I trim. You know, I've got this other trimmer here that I use, which is also a Phillips Norelco. So, you know, Phillips, Phillips, but this one you would go down. But because of the peculiarity of the one blade, you go up. So if I wanted to trim my sideburn a little bit, I go up, you hear it? Now I already did a little bit on that one, so I'd like to turn that off. It's so loud. You're so loud. I'm not a big fan of the one blade, but I wanted to give the, the guard a chance because a lot of people love the one blade. I've noticed that from my comments, you know? Even though I don't like a product or if you don't like a product, there's a million other people that do. So this is all you do. You just trim and you go along wherever you need to. And if you've got a beard, it's perfect. You know, go through there. I should have shaved my mustache off of this thing. So there it is at its lowest, 0.04, and then you can go all the way up to, see what 10 looks like. There's 10, boy, that's gonna leave you a lot of beard hair. If you got one of those big long ones, you just wanna kinda clean it up. And there's the bottom, there you go. So I'm gonna do just a little bit up, let's see, let's go to three. Ooh, it goes from two to two and a half, to three to three and a half, you got some granularity in there. Anyway. If you need to, you can just go on the side. And trim over here. And that's how the Yinke guard works. It turns your one blade into a one blade pro without having to buy a one blade pro. So 20 bucks, here's how it comes off. It's easy, here's how to clean it off. Let's use a little brush. 
now's the perfect chance to use a little brush. So take that off, kind of shake it out over your, your sink or your trash can so you don't make a mess and your wife or your mom or whoever yells at you. All right, then you take a little brush. Isn't that nice? <laughs> So anyway, this thing looks a lot like, I saw the uh, the One Blade Pro attachment at the uh, grocery store, and uh, this thing looks a lot like it. So, there you go. Works fine, looks good, Yinke. I'll put a link down below, I'll put a linke to the Yinke. Ah, jeez. I should be taken off YouTube for that. All right, 19 bucks, go on to Amazon. Thank you for sending that to me. It's always nice to try out stuff that I wouldn't, I mean, I would never try that out, because I'm not a big fan of this. and. I will have an upcoming video revisiting this particular uh, razor slash trimmer because I read a lot of comments from people that say, you should do it like this, you should try it like this. So I'm gonna try it like those ways. I don't wanna just write something off and then be like, I'm done. I'm, I'm open-minded in that way. All right, so there's the Ying K. Thanks to, uh, to those folks that sent it. They were emailing me and say, where's our review? And I said, oh, I got a lot of stuff I gotta do and I'm lazy, so. No excuses, folks. All right, I took a shower, I did my hair. I've got beard and I got, well, I got sideburn trimmings all over the place. Hold on, let me just wash some of these. <laughs> Clean as you go, folks. I'm gonna put some hot water on my face. We're gonna lather up. And we're going to, what are we gonna use? You know what I haven't used in a long time? My Sinatra Lennon Signature Safety Razor. I don't think it's available anymore. It's made in America, machined here. It's got a magnet on the bottom. I wasn't going to say anything. I don't want to brag, you know. But my razor has a magnet in the bottom. Uh, so, no. All right, let's use this. I'm just going to soap up. We're just going to have a nice shave. And then I'm going to go meet one of my oldest and dearest friends for lunch. So if you're out there watching, you know who you are. <laughs> okay, let's lather up. What am I going to do? Oh, yes. I already got it out. The Sinatra Leonard. Well, I'm just... I'm hawking my own wares today. I got the Sinatra Lennon Signature brush, Sinatra Lennon Signature uh, razor. I just need some Sinatra Lennon Signature aftershave and soap, don't I? Don't I? I don't know. Somebody might be making me one. I don't know. I don't know. You never know. Yeah, never, never know. There's a lot of nice people out there making a lot of good stuff. All right. This is Amaretto. Sorry. By uh, Moonsoaps.com. Moonsoaps.com. It smells... Fantastic, smells like amaretto, smells like cherries, smells like Dr. Pepper kinda, smells like marzipan, or marzip marzipan, as my British father-in-law says. Well, he's American now, he's naturalized American. Marzipan. My father-in-law makes the finest Christmas cake you ever did taste. And he's from England, came over here in the late 60s, Met a beautiful Midwestern girl, got married, and they've been married ever since, and they still are. And thus, I have my wife. <laughs> so thank you to my in-laws, if you're watching. But he makes this Christmas cake that smells like this, because it's got marzipan in it, and then it's got this, like, uh, this frosting, like, royal icing on the outside, and it's soaked with rum, you know. Oh, man. You know one of those. It's more like a Christmas pudding, probably, than anything. Why am I speaking in this horrible, terrible accent? I don't know. What I mean is I'm doing a bad. Not, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. All right, let's shave. Let's shave and then we gotta go to lunch. So anyway, yeah, so I was looking when I was, you know, talking to the Yinke people and they were getting a little bit like, hey, we sent that to you like a month ago. And I was like, well, I wanna, you know, I wanna learn about it. I wanna try it out, I wanna use it a little bit. So I did. And uh, I noticed they sent one to Geo Fat Boy and a bunch of other people, so, uh, you know, it's one of those things. I'm always willing to try something out if somebody's willing to send it to me, you know, just for fun. What the heck? Even if it's something I really will probably never use again. I think the good thing about that one is the guard is all in one place, you know? Like, it's just one thing. Normally, when you get trimmers like that other, you know, Norelco I was showing you, it comes with, like, a little bag of, like, four or five or six, however many trimmer uh, heads, you know, guards for different length hair. And you always lose the dang thing, so it's kind of nice to have it all in one place, so that's good. I think the price is a little too high, and in fact, I think it's a lot too high. I think it should be about 10 bucks, maybe, instead of uh, 19. But I think they uh, they did that because, you know, you spent 30 bucks on that one blade, 
and you saw that one blade pro, you know, and you couldn't return it, didn't have time, but you wanted it. And you swear by your one blade, so it is an alternative to just chucking it all and buying a brand new, you know, one blade pro, just buy that. A little too expensive, things should be less. Probably will be. Look for it on sale on Amazon. I found it on Amazon really quickly. It's 18 pounds in the UK, 15, or no, sorry, 19 here. Man, what is the deal with the, the pound versus the dollar? This is the first time I've ever, and I know all of you <laughs> UK friends are like, yes, we know. But the dollar is like stronger than the UK pound. I couldn't believe it. Oh, it's a topsy-turvy world we're living in, folks. But let's just keep shaving. Let's keep going forward. Let's keep our heads on a swivel. Let's keep our heads about ourselves, you know? Don't lose faith. Don't lose hope. You got it. We're all in this together. Don't worry. We're all in this together. All right, here we go. Second pass, and then we'll call it a day. Call it a day. I love to learn uh, the origin of different phrases and different words, you know, the etymology of words or the origin of phrases. Call it a day. Lots of great colloquial. Man, this stuff smells good. It's one of those ones. It's one of those ones where I'm like, don't eat it. I'm telling myself, don't eat it. Don't make this into a cupcake topping. It just smells good. It does not taste good. That's why I have to keep telling myself when I smell anything that's amaretto scented or cherry, but this stuff is fantastic. So good. And I've got the amaretto aftershave too, in case you didn't know, but I also have a little concoction of my own. It's like super mentholated cherry. So I'm going to put that on top just for fun, just for fun. Oh, by the way, I have a feather blade in here in case you wanted to know. Oh, and I do have one shout out. And this was a, a gentleman who said he wanted to shout out his special lady friend. And he says he stays smooth for her. And her name is Varya. V-A-R-Y-A. I hope that's how you pronounce it. Varya, shout out to you from your significant other, Grevos. G-R-E-V-O-S was his name, the screen name. So from Grevos to Varya, shout out. And from me, I'm the middleman. Don't cut me out. Don't cut out the middleman. <laughs> At least not in this case. So shout out to y'all, wherever you are in the world. I don't think they live in Peoria. I think they probably live uh, in someplace beautiful and uh, European. Uh, I just what I imagine. I imagine Varia and Gravos waking up in the morning and having a cup of espresso and a cigarette out in a cafe somewhere, watching the world go by and maybe even thinking about writing poetry. Not, not writing it, just thinking about writing it. Because then you can tell people you're thinking about them. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about, folks. Good thing I'm cutting this thing short. I'm starting to get silly. I'm getting the sillies. I'm starving to death. Whew. Yeah, almost lunchtime. Did I tell you it's lunchtime? Yeah. And I did just get a text from my buddy who I am meeting, so we are on track. I will put pants on. In case you were wondering, worried, you know. You're not worried, are you? Don't worry. Don't worry. Oh, man. I tell you, I don't know what it is. Shaving with a safety razor. It's just so satisfying. So satisfying. You know all those videos you watch? And I, you know who you are. I'm talking to you. Those satisfying videos, you know, where something is being done. I don't know what it is. That's just, so, it makes you feel so relaxed to watch. That's what this is like. This is, this is what it's like to not only watch it, but, but do it, you know? Okay. There we go. There's the two passes. We're only doing two today because we have the uh, the yinke thing at the beginning. So I'll just hit the uh, the problem areas as I always do. Get underneath the nostrils. Make sure I got that, and we'll call it a day, as I've been saying a few too many times. You ever catch yourselves like, I said that enough times today. I need to get rid of that that crutch word or crutch phrase that I use. Okay. Yeah, great shave. Good shave. Good, not great. Good. Had fun. All right, cold water. And we'll get the ch ch ch, -ch cherry bomb. That's the stuff I made. I can't remember what I put in it. I have to go back and look. Uh, scientists, 
chefs, cooks, writers, write your stuff down so you remember. Don't be like me, just wandering through life going, what was that I did? Did I say wandering through wife? I better get out while the getting's good. All right, a little bit of amaretto from uh, Post Chez Balm from Moon Soaps. Tested on friends and family, never animals. There you go. Tested on me. Mmm, it's a nice soothing lotion. It smells, God, it smells so good. What is it? What is it about me and amaretto slash cherry scented things? I don't know. I don't know. And now the final, the coup de gras. No, that's bad. Strike that. The pièce de résistance. Got to get that French right. Ow. Ooh, that's got alcohol in it. Ooh, and it's mentholated, and I think I got some in my eye. Let me just wait a second and see. Wait 15 minutes to see if my eye goes bad, okay? I think it's okay. <laughs> anyway, so that's it, folks. So, checking out. Yinke. Yeah. Turn your one blade into a one blade, blade pro. Why don't you? Why don't you? For your health. All right, everybody. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.